What is up, Flipping Family? It's your boy, Ray, and welcome to another Vlogtober episode. Today's episode is gonna be very special because we're gonna be talking about Pokemon cards. The majority of people, and especially resellers, associate Pokemon cards with really big money. Unlike basketball cards, baseball cards, and football cards, Pokemon is actually a trading card game that people play all over the world. They have tournaments and contests. There's even professional Pokemon players out there that win big money at the end of the year. So how does this pertain to what we're trying to do as resellers? We'll see, I like to collect Pokemon cards. And again, I don't always get the big hits out of the packs. So I save the bulk cards and when I get enough of them, I go to a trading card store and trade in my bulk cards for either cash or store credit. And I finally have enough cards for me to go to the store and trade in to see how much money they're gonna give me for them. So without further ado, let's go and see how much money we can make. Come on. Y'all, all these are bulk cards i mean all these they're all full so hopefully i don't know there's a lot of these in here if i can get 50 bucks i would be happy store credit of course we're here at the mall this is where the uh the store is and this is one of those malls is just hanging barely by a thread but they have that they do have a good card store in there so let's go oh man this bag is super heavy here is the store, it's called the Next Level Games. So let's see how much they'll give us for this. Maybe we can find something in here for ourselves. There's some Pokemon cards in the case that we can possibly purchase. Interesting stuff. Got Pikachu right there. Here's some slabs. That's kind of cool right there. Legendary collection. This one right there, the shining one. The shining Mew? Yes, ma'am. Great. Right. If I can see the price on this uh, Zapdos also, when you get a chance. I know what set this is from off the top of my Legendary, head. Legendary. Uh, dairy collections. Yeah. It's the reverse hollow foil. Mm -hmm. The better of the two, in my opinion. Obviously, I mean, look yeah. at this. Look at this it's, it's so cool. It's so cool. Um, probably around 100 $100? Yeah. So $100 for the Zapdos and then 40 for the Mew? Yes. Okay, all right. How's it going? I have some Pokemon Bolt that I'm looking to trade in for store credit. Sounds good. If possible. I also brought these. Oh. I don't know if you would take those so like or not. So the Cosmo Hollows yeah. 151 energies are worth like a dollar and change. So That's fine. So pay a little bit more than bulk on them. And then I have this gold one. Yep. All right, guys. So it's $9 for every thousand cards, which um, is interesting. Hopefully I have more than enough money to get the Mew and the Zapdos because it's uh, going to be $40 for the Mew and then $100 for the Zapdos, which I really want. For sure the Mew, because I can probably afford that with that. But if I got to get the Zapdos, I got a little money I can throw with it. So we'll see. We'll see how much uh, money we get with store credit. So I would definitely keep that number in mind, especially if you go to like garage sales and stuff and don't necessarily see like the top tier Pokemon cards. You'd still buy all the bulk. And just remember that for every thousand cards, you'll probably get nine dollars off of it. But I know it doesn't seem like a lot and you can like individually i guess sell them online but i'd rather just get them all gone because they're just taking up so much space so next time you're at a garage sale and if you see just bulk and if you can get it for like a dollar hey you'll make eight bucks or 50 cents or whatever they want for it so this is really cool it's like a model of the mando and baby grogu or baby yoda it's pretty cool that sonic this place has got really cool stuff i mean they could definitely easily blow like a thousand dollars in this place i wonder if they have any lego ready for you. sure oh did i have those in there you did did you want oh, to hold on to these um no yeah actually let me hold on to these if that's okay yeah you um 
I didn't know these were in there. Let me hold on to this one. I have a duplicate of that one. Okay. Just this one. You got it. Sorry about that. I didn't know those were in there. How many is in? Is it just one of these? One's the okay. Last. Okay. How much is that? 50 cents? <laughs> yeah. And well, yep. uh, comes out to 50 in cash or 60 in store credit. 60 in store credit. Okay. Okay. Have you sold to us before? Yes. So I got $60 store credit and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. I have enough for the Mew and oh, more than enough for the Mew. So we're gonna get the Mew and do I want the Zapdos? So that would be, I would pay $80 for the Zapdos. Let me just see what the market value is on eBay. That's a good idea, let's see. All right guys, so I ch just checked out the eBay sold comps and um, they're going for around eighty dollars. They are going for that, but the ones that are going for like eighty dollars is like really beat up. So I'm gonna look at the condition of the Zapdos, see if it's worth it, because um, a really beat up one is like eighty bucks, as you can tell. So uh, let's take a look at the condition. The condition is going to determine if we're gonna pick it up or not. So a little bit lower. You don't need to take yeah. that. Out. That's so, and what about the other one? Same? Same, moderate. Can I take price. a look at it? Yeah. That's fine. I'll take both of them. Okay, perfect. OMG, what are these? Bag clips? Holy smokes, what do we got here? Kramer, Elaine, Jerry. Mickey, Susan Ross, Sue Ellen Mishki, Newman, Fusili Jerry. Yep, I need to get me one of these. I'm gonna have to get two. Brady's gonna want one of these. So gang, next time you come across some Pokemon cards, and it's not necessarily some big money cards like a Charizard or a Mewtwo or a Mew, you can still buy the bulk and most of the places are gonna give you $9 for a thousand cards. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up. As you can see, we end up picking up the Mew, the shiny Mew card and the Zapdos and the legendary collection card. These two cards are amazing. And while I was there, this, which you know I'm a big Funko Pop collector, this is a GameStop, GameStop exclusive Ted DiBiase Chase Funko Pop. So check that out. It's like a diamond exclusive one. So his like suit is shiny. So really nice, really cool. And again, guys, we picked up these as well. These little Seinfeld bag tags. So we're gonna get my wife to open them up. So guys, thank you all so much for another Vlogtober episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and like always, we'll catch you on the flip side. Let's see what's in these suckers. All right, Britt, what kind, what do you wish to get? I'm hoping for Elaine. Elaine? I want, um, or... I want Kramer. This is Where a is shirt. It? Oh, see? it's nice. Crack her open. Right. So this one's yours, or? This one's mine. When, that one's yours, okay. Yeah, because you gotta open it. Well, you can open mine. Sue Ellen Mishki? <laughs> <laughs> open up the other one. If you like that one better, I'll give you that one. Oh, the Susan. Oh, two duds. Susan's a bummer. What a bummer. Wah, wah.